Hey guys, I'm Yumna from Feel Good Foodie and today I'm going to show you how to make a fun Lebanese style pizza. It's a chicken shawarma pita pizza. Not only is this pizza loaded with all kinds of flavor and vegetables, but it's so full of color. So it's really going to make you feel good eating it. So to start making this chicken shawarma pita pizza, I have some chicken that's been marinating overnight and it's marinating in a shawarma seasoning blend. And I also added a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of lemon juice and lots of garlic. The garlicky flavor is really what gives it a kick and it really sets in overnight when you marinate the chicken. So the chicken is ready to go. It's all seasoned and I'm going to go ahead and um, grill it on this uh, skillet. So I'll place the chicken breast that's already been marinated right on the grill. Don't forget all the marinade. Just go ahead and add it right to the top of the skillet. So while the chicken is cooking, what we're gonna do is make the tahini sauce right now. So I have in here half a cup of tahini, and then I'm gonna add about the juice of about two lemons. So it's a little bit less than what I have in here. Go ahead and add that in there. And then we'll add about two garlic cloves. I've already um, minced them just to get the flavor nice and blended and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and blend that. Add a little bit of water to thin out the dressing. So the lemon tangy dressing is all done and you can see it's nice and creamy. It's got a beautiful consistency. So for the chicken, what I like to do is I like to make sure to cook it for like five minutes per side so that it doesn't get too dry, but at the same time, it's nice and juicy. And I love using a grill in, um, in the winter because it just gives you that nice um, outdoor flavor of grilling it on the grill, but it's done in the convenience of your home. So, and if you press down on the chicken, you'll see if the juices are running clear, then you'll know that the chicken is done. So I'll just kind of lightly press on it. It also helps to give those nice grill marks. So now that the chicken is all cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it to a cutting board. And now I'm just gonna slice up the chicken. You can slice them in cubes, you can do them in strips, however you'd like. It just kind of, and you can see the chicken is nice and juicy on the inside, but it's beautifully browned on the outside. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Now that we've cut up all the chicken shawarma, what I'm gonna do is take a traditional pita bread and put it right on the skillet right here. So it's still nice and hot, and we're just gonna place it there and put some cheese on top. So that'll get nice and warm. And we just wanna keep it on there for a couple of minutes until the cheese is melted and the bread kind of gets a little bit toasted. So the cheese is all melted, and now we're gonna go ahead and assemble our pizzas. What I like to do is once I have the pita right there, I like to just add a little bit of chicken. This reminds me of a chicken shawarma sandwich that I grew up eating, but in, essentially it's just an open face sandwich. So it kind of has the same essence as that. So I loaded up with chicken. I'm gonna also go ahead and add some tomatoes on top and then some banana peppers. I love banana peppers. They have a nice big um, kick to them and they really give this a nice uh, Mediterranean flavor. Also put some roasted red peppers on there. It goes really well with this. And next I'll add some red onions. These red onions have a little bit of cement on them and I put a little bit of um, red wine vinegar and cement overnight just to kind of make them a little bit softer so they don't have as much of a bite, but they still have the essence of the red onion flavor. So I'll sprinkle those on here and you can put as much as you like. And you can see it's already bursting with so much color and it's gonna have so much flavor from all of these different vegetables on there. All right, now the best part of all of this is the lemony tangy dressing that we made earlier. So I just transferred it over here and you can put as much or as little as you want. I like to kind of douse it all over and then just finish it off with some fresh greens. I like to put a little bit of parsley. It's very Mediterranean. Now, just like any traditional pizza, you can just cut it up and enjoy. Or if you're like me and you're really hungry, just fold it in half and just grab it like a sandwich. So let's go ahead and slice it up and enjoy. I just love how thin the crust is because we use a traditional pita bread. So it's um, you're getting a little bit of the carbs, but also you're getting a ton of protein on top and lots of vegetables and flavor. For the full recipe in the video, check out feelgoodfoodie.net.